I'll get down to two, like a right one and a wrong one, but then I'll always choose the wrong one. And then when I look back to see like, what does it say about this one? It tends to be that this goes beyond what the question is asking. It goes beyond the paragraph. So it's like the, the tempting answer seems to be the one that, that gives where you're making more assumptions about what you're reading. And it's really hard. I, I am very, I haven't gotten there in the study program, but I'm, I'm really struggling and breaking out of that mental habit of like, why am I just adding more to this that's in front of me? Yeah, sure. And it's, it's not that surprising to me because the LSAT knows how we think. They know that students like strong language and we like to strengthen arguments. We gravitate towards strong language and we look to close gaps a lot of the time. But we've got to do what the question stem is asking us to do. And certain question types require more moderate language than others. Like a lot of times, necessary assumption questions, the correct answer will seem wrong. People will say because they already knew that or didn't really add anything. But the thing is, for necessary assumption, you don't want it to add anything. You okay. want moderate for that particular question type. So you want to make sure that you're doing what the question's actually asking. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.